The true origins of humans continues to be a subject of debate and disagreement. Believers hold the view that humans were created by God, while science continues to find more and more evidence supporting the complex evolutionary path from primates to modern humans. Recently, archaeologists have made astonishing discoveries that have prompted scientists to reassess the entire history of our origins. In today's video, you will be introduced to these findings, learn many new interesting facts about our ancestors, and be convinced that the theory of evolution is not a fabrication. It is no secret that our species belongs to the primate family, specifically hominids, which includes the great apes. Thus, the emergence of primates on Earth around 65 million years ago could be considered the beginning of human development. But scientists start counting from the moment of bipedalism. One of the earliest bipedal ancestors of humans is Sahelanthropus. Sahelanthropus lived during the late Miocene period, approximately 6 million years ago, and became the first hominid to exhibit a slow transition from ape-like lifestyles. The existence of this type of hominid is not merely an evolutionary theory. In 2002, during excavations in the northwest of the Republic of Chad, a skull, lower jaw, and teeth of Sahelanthropus chadensis were discovered with an estimated age of over 6 million years. The forward displacement of the large opening at the back of the skull indicated that Sahelanthropus was bipedal, with an intermediate position between quadrupedal hominids and later bipedal hominids. In addition to the remains of human ancestors, fossils were also found in the excavation area. Their analysis revealed that there was once a shoreline of a large lake in the region surrounded by a savanna. However, it was the recovered genes rather than fossils that helped scientists obtain a wealth of information about evolution, specifically regarding our origins and interbreeding between hominids over centuries. The oldest DNA sample from a human ancestor was found in Spain at one of the legendary excavation sites known as the Cave of Bones. At the bottom of the cave, in the Sierra de Atapuerco Mountains, thousands of teeth and bones from 28 different individuals were discovered with an age exceeding 400,000 years. It was believed that these remains belonged to the ancestors of European Neanderthals, known as Homo heidelbergensis. In 2016, a group of scientists led by Swedish paleogeneticist Fate Pabo succeeded in extracting a partial genome from the discovered bones and teeth. The analysis of the remains revealed that they belong not to Homo heidelbergensis, but to Neanderthals themselves. This study became crucial as it allowed scientists to demonstrate that Neanderthals appear on Earth 100 years earlier than previously thought. Along with the Neanderthal genome, researchers were able to study the remains of Denisovans. The results of the analysis further perplexed scientists as both DNA samples contained genes from previously unknown human ancestors. Anthropologists had long believed that interbreeding occurred only between these two hominid species. However, it turned out that this opinion was mistaken, indicating the existence of a third unknown species. Astonishingly, around 3% of these mysterious genes are present in the genome of modern humans too. The identity of these ancestors, however, remained unknown to scientists. Ancient human remains primarily tell us about their physical characteristics during their lifetime. Although bones can preserve for hundreds of thousands of years, scientists cannot always extract the genome to identify the species they belong to. From an anatomical standpoint, many of the discovered remains often exhibit a combination of features found in both primitive and modern humans. Furthermore, morphological traits varied in different excavation sites, which explains the external differences observed among modern human populations. For instance, in 1962, during excavations in Jebel Urhud, Morocco, the remains of five early humans were found, 
exhibiting features that were simultaneously similar to modern humans and more archaic humans. Previously thought to belong to Neanderthals, subsequent research in 2017 recognized the discovery as remains of Mousterian-era Homo sapiens related to the Ethiopian individual known as Idaltu. The age of the bones was approximately 300,000 years, indicating a more than 100,000-year discrepancy in scientists' previous assumptions about the timing of the first appearance of early Homo sapiens. Most of our ancestors' remains were discovered in modern-day Africa. In Florisbad, South Africa, human remains dating back 260,000 years were found, while along the Omo River in Ethiopia, the age of the discovered bones reaches 195,000 years. The presence of our ancestors' remains in northwestern Africa primarily suggests widespread settlements of early humans in this region. Some of the Homo sapiens remains found in Africa bear such anatomical resemblance to modern humans that skeptics doubt their primitiveness. However, scientists have arguments to counter these doubts. The thing is, all the remains, ranging from 40,000 to 3,000 years old, exhibit various combinations of so-called archaic and modern features. Therefore, scientists strive not to divide ancient humans into subspecies and refer to them only as early Homo sapiens. Human evolution occurred not only in terms of external changes in brain development, but also saw significant progress in their material culture. During excavations in Africa, researchers traced a transition that occurred approximately 300,000 years ago from clumsy handheld stone tools to more sophisticated tools known to us as Middle Stone Age implements. The key stages in the evolutionary path from primates to modern humans undoubtedly includes the emergence of primates around 66 million years ago, the appearance of the first Homo sapiens or humans about 2.8 million years ago, and the emergence of the main ancestors of modern humans, the Homo sapiens subspecies known as Cro-Magnons. However, many are curious to know if scientists have managed to determine when all early humans acquired an external appearance most similar to our modern contemporaries. However, it's not quite that simple. One of the several skulls found in the Kabish village on the banks of the Omo River in southern Ethiopia closely resembles the skull of a modern human. Its age is approximately 195,000 years. At the same time, another skull from the Iwo Alero cave in Nigeria appears very archaic, despite being only around 13,000 years old. These discrepancies illustrate that the process of evolution was not linear. In other words, there is no single reference point when all early Homo sapiens started to resemble modern humans. Each species evolved at its own pace, which was noticeable not only in their physical appearance, but also in the development of hominids. Earlier, I touched on the topic of progress in the tools of early humans, and now I suggest delving into that one with more detail. The study of our ancestors' tools is crucial for scientists as it illustrates how wild hunters gradually transformed into intelligent warriors. Over 3 million years ago, hominids began using stone tools. Around 1.5 million years ago, our ancestors adopted the Acheulean culture and started arming themselves with massive hand axes and other cutting tools that remained popular for many, many years. However, with these tools, people were quite limited and risked their lives when hunting at close range. A significant leap in the development of tool-making technology occurred approximately 300,000 years ago. During this time, humans invented thin, sharp-edged spear points with barbs and attached them to spear shafts. This allowed them to greatly increase their attack radius and engage in combat with highly dangerous animals, thus significantly enhancing their hunting skills. Such spear points have been found in Kenya during excavations. 
Around the same time, scrapers and needles appeared, which could be used for working animal hides, wood, and other materials. In Katanda, researchers discovered barbed tools similar to those found in Kenya. They were likely used for fishing. Interestingly, their age did not exceed 90,000 years ago. In India, an entire collection of similar stone blades was also found, dating back 250,000 years. These findings belong to different periods, leading scientists to conclude that early African humans left Africa much earlier than previously thought and spread their technology to other hominid species. This makes us reflect on how little we actually know about our ancestors. The continent of Africa is known as the Cradle of Life, and indeed, all findings indicate that that is exactly where the first humans appeared. However, scientists do have reasons to consider that that may not be the case. The numerous discoveries made during excavations demonstrate that early humans also lived on other continents. For instance, archaeologists found a jaw and teeth of a human in Israel's Mount Carmel, dating back approximately 170,000 to 190,000 years ago. Axes and other tools were also discovered alongside the remains. Other findings in Israel, in Kafzen, are dated to a later period, ranging from 100,000 to 130,000 years ago suggesting prolonged human presence in the area. Alongside the remains, fragments of red okra and tools colored with it were discovered. Remains of our ancestors were also found in China during excavations. Bones and a skull, approximately 100,000 years old, were discovered in caves in the southern part of the country. The skull displayed some archaic features, but predominantly resembled the anatomy of modern humans. Additionally, in the Fuyan Caves, archaeologists discovered 47 perfectly preserved teeth. According to researchers, all of these remains undoubtedly belong to Homo sapiens. To confirm this fact, scientists compared the teeth with samples from various hominid species in Europe, Asia, and Africa. The teeth from the Fuyan cave were significantly smaller than others and most closely resembled the teeth of modern humans. The results of extensive excavations and research indicate that Homo sapiens lived in different corners of the planet during the same period. Current technologies are still unable to accurately determine the age of remains. Therefore, it is currently impossible to claim with 100% certainty where the first modern humans originated. It is highly likely that the discovered remains in China and other countries indicate that Homo sapiens migrated from Africa. Scientists have managed to recreate a climate model of that era. According to their findings, a significant drop in sea levels created several favorable periods when people were able to move to the Arabian Peninsula and the Middle East. Gradually, they began to travel the world, and eventually, we reached all habitable regions on the planet. Anthropologists have long known that Homo sapiens were not the only ones living on our planet. Multiple hominid species coexisted in the same territory, and as our genes show, they frequently interbred. Some of them remain unidentified to this day and have long been extinct. In 2003, unusual remains belonging to a short-statured hominid whose height did not exceed one meter were found on the island of Flores in Indonesia. The skeleton was approximately 50,000 years old. Shortly thereafter, seven more remains of these dwarf-like creatures were found in the nearby area, indicating the existence of a settlement of such individuals. Using complex phylogenic analysis, scientists concluded that the skeletons belonged to a new hominid species, which they named Homo floresiensis, or Flores man. This species is considered long extinct, and according to researchers, its representatives did not participate in interbreeding, so the genes of the dwarf hominids did not pass on to modern humans. 
Another well-known extinct species of our ancestors is the Neanderthals. Neanderthals emerged as a separate species approximately 150,000 years ago and were widespread in Europe and Central Asia. They coexisted with Homo sapiens in Europe. The exact reason for their extinction is unknown. There are numerous theories, including the idea that Neanderthals disappeared due to changing climatic conditions or were displaced by Homo sapiens. Surprisingly, research findings have shown that modern non-African humans carry between 2 and 4 percent of the genome of these hominid species. According to genetic analysis conducted in 2016, Neanderthals interbred with Homo sapiens at least three times over 100,000 years ago with the ancestors of non-Africans, then with the ancestors of Asians and Europeans, and approximately 65,000 years ago with the ancestors of East Asians. The most enigmatic hominid species were the Denisovans. Their remains were found in the Denisova Cave in the Altai Mountains and also in China's Tibetan Plateau. Unfortunately, the discovered fragments were not sufficient for scientists to reconstruct their appearance. However, genome analysis revealed that Denisovans were dark-skinned hominids with dark eyes and hair. Genome sequencing also led to new scientific discoveries. For example, it was found that Denisovans interbred with both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Comparative analysis confirmed that people in East Asia, as well as Papuans, carry genes from the Denisovans of the Altai region. Undoubtedly, Neanderthals and Denisovans have contributed to our genetic ancestry, but among the extinct hominid species, there were those who were unknown to scientists until recently. It is the discovery of these species that could serve as the missing link in the history of our evolution. The sensational finding of a skull belonging to an unknown hominid has led scientists to speculate that these primitive humans were the elusive third species involved in human evolution. The story of the mysterious skull began in 1933 in China when a worker involved in the construction of a bridge on the Sunhua River discovered it. The man decided to hide the skull from authorities in an abandoned well and only revealed its existence to his grandson before his death. In 2018, his relatives actually found the hidden remains in the well and Chinese paleoanthropologist Xi Yan Yi persuaded the family to hand them over to the Hebei Geo University for further research. Over the course of three years, scientists meticulously studied the skull, and in 2021, they published the results of their research in the scientific journal Innovation. Initially, anthropologists believed that the skull belonged to a Denisovan, but further investigations revealed that the hominid belonged to a previously unknown species. Scientists named this species Homo longi, or Dragon Man. They gave it such an unusual name in honor of the place where the remains were discovered. This discovery raised numerous questions. So in addition to the skull, fossils in the vicinity of the Dongjiang Bridge were also examined. X-ray fluorescence analysis of the fossil and the skull itself indicated that they were buried underground during approximately the same period, around 138,000 to 309,000 years ago. After direct dating of the skull using uranium series, researchers determined that the minimum age of the Harbin skull is 146,000 years. Thus, scientists classified the Dragon Man species as belonging to the Middle Pleistocene. Many significant anthropological finds, such as the Zhihe Jiao in the northeast of the Tibetan Plateau, remains from Chongzhou's Maludong Cave, the Dali Skull, and skull fragments from Hualong Cave also fall into this period. Early Homo sapiens in Africa and the Middle East are also included in this time frame. The Harbin skull, despite its ancient age, has been remarkably preserved. After detailed analysis, it was found to belong to a male individual who lived in the vicinity of the modern city of Harbin, simultaneously with Neanderthals and Denisovans. 
However, on the evolutionary tree, the Homo longi species is placed much closer to Homo sapiens. Homo longi, like Homo sapiens, had a large brain, relatively short face, and small cheekbones. However, this human species also exhibited archaic features such as massive bro ridges, large molars, and nearly square eye sockets. In these aspects, they closely resemble Neanderthals and Heidelbergensis. The size of the Harbin skull measures 221.3 mm by 164.1 mm, while the average size of a modern male skull is 176 mm by 145 mm. This hominid species indeed possessed a relatively large skull, estimated to have a volume of around 1,420 cm cubed. This volume significantly exceeds that of other hominids such as Erectus, Naledi, Homo floresiensis, and even some representatives of Homo heidelbergensis, Rhodesian man, and approaches that of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Such inexplicable similarities between the Dragon Man and Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens prompted scientists to continue research and find a direct connection between these species. Through comparative analysis of Middle Pleistocene fossils from Africa, Asia, and Europe, it was discovered that the Dragon Man and Homo sapiens shared a common ancestor who lived approximately 949,000 years ago. This means that there is a much greater kinship between these two hominid species than between us and Neanderthals. Chinese scientists also stated that the Dragon Man indeed represents a new species of previously unknown hominid as they exhibited anatomical distinctiveness in addition to similarities with Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens. To determine the relationship of Homo longi with other early humans, scientists compared the extracted protein from the bones of 54 different specimens. The results show DNA matches with a fragment of the Denisovan jaw found in the Tibetan Plateau. Another match was found in a part of a skull discovered in Dali County, China, dating back 200,000 years. Direct kinship with Denisovans is also supported by some anatomical features. The upper jaw tooth of Homo longi has similar large dimensions to the tooth found in the Denisovan jaw from Tibet. Both species lacked a third molar tooth and they inhabited the same part of Asia as the Denisovans. As a result of all the research, Chinese scientists concluded that the Dragon Man was a distinct species related to Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens. Phylogenetic analysis placed these hominids, along with the discovered remains from the Tibetan Plateau and Dali County, into the third East Asian human lineage, which is a sister group to the Homo sapiens lineage. Homo longi is not the only previously unstudied hominid species. During excavations in Israel at Nishur Ramla in 2010, archaeologists found skull fragments and bones. Analysis revealed that they belong to a girl from an unknown hominid species with an age of approximately 140,000 years. These individuals differ in cranial structure, lacking a chin and possessing large teeth. Similar remains, including a female skull from Tabun Cave, have also been discovered in other locations in Israel, indicating that they belong to a single ancient human species. Scientists speculated that the Nishur Ramla bones belong to the ancestors of the majority of Middle Pleistocene humans. This suggests that they may also be the ancestors of European and Asian Neanderthals, casting doubt on the European theory of their origins. However, these statements currently remain at the level of hypothesis. Alongside human remains at the Nishur Ramla site, over 6,000 artifacts were found, including stone tools, bones, and utensils. The technology used to create these tools mirrored that of Homo sapiens groups. This similarity indicated close interaction and likely interbreeding between these species. 
Animal bones, which had been consumed by these people, were also discovered at the excavation site. This finding suggested that Homo Nishir Ramla hunted various animals, including turtles, wild boars, and bison. These individuals also used fire for cooking, as evidenced by characteristic traces among the fossils. To this day, this hominid species remains poorly understood. However, in the near future, it is highly likely to become one of the pieces that fill the gaps in the history of human origins. Currently, Homo sapiens are the only surviving species among all the once existing humans, but each of them has left its mark on the history of humanity in one way or another. Scientists consistently make discoveries that confirm the long evolutionary path. It is hard not to trust Darwin's theory after all these findings, and just imagine how many more pieces of evidence we have yet to uncover in the future. That's all from me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. Your engagement means the world to me. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Goodbye.